Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got some stuff to talk about, some stuff to share, but what a weekend it's been. So if you're curious, hang on or stay tuned or come back or whatever it's called <laughs> for my intro. <laughs> That's the type of weekend I had. I, I missed my Sunday video and, um, you know, I just had one thing after another and then I had a malfunction when I tried to record something and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I couldn't believe it. So I, I do have the announcement of who's going to win three bottles of blink from my last contest, my last giveaway that I did not too long ago. I have the winner and I'm going to announce who that is. But one of the things I wanted to tell you, I thought it was so funny. Um, Natalie, the beauty diva, I know you all know who she is. And anyways, Natalie and I talk a lot on something called Vox. And we've been talking sort of on a regular, consistent basis, but we don't really all t we don't really talk about beauty. We don't talk about makeup. We don't talk about skincare. W what we talk about is life, and we talk about our. We both have a shared passion for true crime podcasts, so we talk a lot about the true crime podcasts that we're listening to, and and you know, people kind of like look at you weird when you talk about the fact that you like listening to true crime podcasts or watching true crime or reading true crime I always look at it this way that and this is what I say to Jay you know the more I listen to true crime the more aware I become of the things that can happen and the more I am focused on things around me not like paranoid or you know things of that but just a, more of an awareness of when I get put when I put myself in a risk situation and in my profession there have been many risk situations that I put myself in because if you think about it, right, as a real estate professional, you do everything mama told you not to do, right? My mama said you don't take candy from strangers, you don't talk to strangers, you don't get in a car with strangers, you stay away from strangers. Well, in real estate, um, while I may not take candy, but I certainly do to a certain degree if you want to call it, I make my living. Um, I, I, I meet strangers at empty homes. I get in cars with strangers. Every, they're a stranger in the beginning, my buyers and my sellers. So I do everything mama told me not to do. And there's been some circumstances in, in the realtor community where there has been you know, some horrible crimes committed against real estate agents. And when you hear about it, you go, oh my gosh, you know, I could have done that. I have been in that situation. How would I have been able to handle it, etc.? So the true crime for me is, you know, more of an awareness of like, mm, I don't think I'm going to meet this person in this empty house alone type of thing. Or I'm not going to turn my back to someone I just met in an empty house. I'm certainly not going to lead the way down to a basement in an empty house. I'm not going to bring my pocketbook in. I might have my keys in and that's about it. So anyways, all sorts of different things. So anyways, Natalie and I mostly talk about that. So it was like cracked up laughing when I watched one of her latest videos and um, she had started to use some of Peach's skincare products and she had picked up on some of the tips that uh, Lisa has shares, shared in her, in her product line. One of the things that Lisa had always talked about, Lisa wears frownies like I do and I think, but I'm not sure, I think Natalie might I'm not sure. But anyways, I wear frownies every night and so does Lisa. So we, we, Lisa and I have talked about the fact that, you know, we both wear frownies, some of the things we're trying to do proactively. But one of the things Lisa talked about a long time ago was how she uses milk, milk of magnesia. So when you think about milk of magnesia on your face, you're like, huh? And that's what I thought in the beginning. So anyways, I cracked up because I've been using milk of magnesia thanks to Lisa, but he totally cracked up when Natalie, the beauty diva, in one of her recent videos, talked about using the milk of magnesia. So, hey guys, um, before it runs out, right, because, you know, everything does, uh, I went and I checked out in Walgreens because I had to go to Walgreens for my flu shot, and um, I checked out their stack of milk and magnesia. The original was hard to come by. They had all these other flavors. Well, I buy the original. So I got a couple of bottles as a backup. But anyways, milk and magnesia. Yeah, you know, um, who knew? But it actually does, it, it actually does give you a tightening 
you know, and not a bad tightening feeling at all. I put on just a thin coat and right before I go to bed, it dries on. It's, it's, it doesn't, it feels a little weird in the beginning, but that it really does. Everything Lisa has said about this is true. So I totally crack up at that. Um, yeah, so yesterday, I have no idea when this is, I'm hoping I can get this up for Monday, but I really don't know when you're going to see it. I couldn't get it up for Sunday. Uh, Jay and I went for a bike ride on our bikes and we did, we did just under 30 miles, 29 miles. It was the first time that we have driven that long on our bikes, on these bikes. And it's the first time for me that I did all street riding. So we went to the beach, went to Hampton Beach in New Hampshire, and we parked our car and, and took off on our bikes. I'll, I'll superimpose a couple of pictures here. Took up on our, off on our bikes and we went all the way up to Newcastle, which New Hampshire Seacoast has roughly 18 miles of seacoast. So you can imagine if you go all the way up there and then you continue on to Portsmouth, you'd get a little bit more, you know, downtown Portsmouth. But we went all the way up to Newcastle and back, and it was a 29.1 mile, according to my health app on my phone. And we came back and we were exhausted. So I did a video. I pulled my my winner. Uh, I was excited because, not that I know this person in, in real life, but this is a person that always leaves me comments on my video. So I was super excited that it was, it was her. And so anyways, then I went to put it all together. And it was a big failure. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you in a moment. I know I'm a big tease right now, right? A couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, some of you had asked about this. I had purchased this from Beautylish. This is the Viseat. This is their Violet palette. And I've been using it for quite a while now. You can see I've got some indents. I really like this a lot and I can do a whole eye look with this and this is actually what I have on today. Now I'm not a, I, I you know, some, some of you say, oh, do a get ready with me. Well, you know, I don't do well with get readies with me. I, I always feel like I look ridiculous. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I use the all over bases, this lightest color here in the corner and I just put it all over. Now I don't tend to use an eyelid primer. I probably should, but I don't. And then I used this darker one here for my crease. And then for my outer V, I went a little bit darker. And then I did some of the pinks and the purples in the middle just to kind of to kind of boost it up. But one of the things that I've been doing, and I've been doing for quite a while, and Jay cracks up, is I've been contouring my lips. And have you guys, con do you contour your lips? So I contour my lips, and I usually contour my lips with one of my eye shadows, whichever one I'm using. So this morning I contoured my lips with this one and I just have a, a fine brush that I use and I kind of like just go on the outside because I have thin lips, right? So I just kind of go on the outside of my lips and go around and I contour that way. And then sometimes I'll use a little bit of lip liner, sometimes not, and then I just fill it in with my lipstick. So I contour my lips. I've been contouring my lips for I don't know, I want to say maybe three months. I actually watched a video on contouring your lips and it was Mrs. Melissa M that had done it. And if I can find the video, I'll link it below. But she had talked about contouring her lips. And I was like, oh, well, I kind of do that a little bit, but I didn't quite do it the way she did it. So I've been practicing with that and it's actually worked really good. So contouring my lips with whatever palette I'm using on my eyes, has been really awesome. It has really been awesome. So I love this Violet palette. I'm really happy I bought it. The other palette that I like is from MAC. And um, I use this one an awful lot. I think I shared this with you guys before. And it's a cool tone palette, which I really like. And so you can see the colors. I'll list the exact palette and the colors down below, but it's cool tone. So I, I like the darker shades of, he, of in here that are cooler. I think this is a really cool palette. I believe I got this at the Cosmetic Company store. They sell MAC products there. And I bought this and I bought a mascara and I bought, bought the setting spray. What is it? Fix Plus or whatever. I've got that. But this I've been using a lot. And I've also used some of the shades in here to contour my lips. So I contour my lips with whatever palette I'm using that morning. I really like it. Then I have another little palette that I've been using a lot. This is Too Faced. This I got. I want to say I got this for Christmas last year. And I think I got this from Sheila. 
Simply Sheila. And so I've been using this blush and I've been using the um, the wash, the all over warm, you know, the warm wash. So I've actually been using this and really enjoying this. Now I, it's set unused for quite a while, but I started to use it. So I wanted to, I wanted to share these three things with you and tell you a little bit about my crazy bike ride. And oh my gosh, it was beautiful out there on the coast. It kind of messed up my whole my whole gist of my videos, especially when my when I had a corrupted video file and I couldn't save it. So while I bike ride, I have in my back saddle bag, I have a little bag, not necessarily a cosmetic bag, but I have like a hair comb. I have a, a ball cap that I'll wear because when you pull your helmet off, you've got helmet hair. And not that we usually go anywhere spectacular after riding because we're tired, but I put my, I take my helmet off, I put my, my ball cap on, or I put a bandana on or whatever, or if I thought I was going to go out, I'd pack a wig. But one of the things that I've been wearing religiously since we've been riding bikes, and even though it's fall, I normally use a lot of sunblock anyways, but I have just gone right back to the Color Science Sun Forgettable. Now this was sent to me, I don't even know how long ago, from Color Science. I love this. I use this all the time. It's got, it's just a light little color. Oh, sorry. I've got milk of magnesia on my hands. I wanted to show you the white tint of milk of magnesia and I forgot. Well, I just put this color science on top of it. But, <laughs> so, kind of a day I've had. But you can see the, what, the milk of magnesia through the color science. Holy moly. But yeah. Anyway, so sunblock. You know, fell back in love with color science, if you want to call it, I never fell out of love, but just using it all the more and making sure, sure that I have it with me all the time. So in my saddlebag, if you want to call it, that's what we call it, sort of bike talk saddlebag, um, I have this little pouch and I have my, my sunblock in there and a few other little essentials that I have to have with me, including my hat. And I've been just so lathering up with this stuff because if you can imagine 30 miles outside, sunny, you know, even though it's cooler temperatures, the, the sun rays are there. And I know some people say, you know, well, it's, it's fall. Do you need it? And I'm going, uh-huh, absolutely, I need it. So I do need my sunblock. And yeah, I guess I wanted to share that that with you guys, you know, what's been happening and a couple of the different pictures and sorry I'm late. I hope I get this up on Monday, but I also wanted to share with you, even though I have a corrupt file, the winner of my three things of blank is Jean Jacobs. So Jean, you need to, and I'll make sure, I think I might put her name in the heading just so, but she always watches my videos. So when you see this, you won this. Please contact me. My email is below. Send me a message. Let me know. I need your address so I can send this off to you. Congratulations. You're on your way to having super sexy eyelashes. So, yeah. And I'm filming this and I just have a little wig on my head. And I actually did a review. I reviewed two wigs. And this is one of them. And I reviewed another one that's really nice. So, um... I'm going, to do, I'm going to do a wig giveaway coming up shortly on the channel as well, but not right now. So, anyways, that's it for me. Sorry I was missing in action this weekend. I hope you guys had a great one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.